我们刚取得最新的消息，就是这一位开枪杀死了十八岁青年 Michael Brown 的欧洲裔的警官，他辞职了，但理由是说他觉得他的生命受到威胁。这是刚刚来自美国我们所取得最新的消息。而事实上，美国已经产生了史上第一位黑皮肤的总统，难道这就代表美国的黑白种族冲突的时代已经过去了吗？其实显然并不是。那么，正当这起判决。引燃全美国各地的示威之后，您现在看到世界各国纷纷报道，而且大部分的新闻标题就是写着“种族暴动”这种字眼，包括巴基斯坦。澳洲甚至中国的媒体都以头条的方式来报道，这是在中东、亚洲还有太平洋地区的媒体。那么，另外在欧洲的媒体也在第一时间不断地放送所谓。暴动的影像，包括俄罗斯、德国、法国都指出说，这一起攸关种族敏感的判决，激起了更大规模的抗议。媒体的报道纷纷指向种族冲突，而美国总统奥巴马两度针对这起判决发表谈话。谈话的重点有几个：第一，一方面提起说，美国社会的确有常年的根深蒂固的种族歧视，认为这是造成这起悲剧的主因；另外一方面，他也提起人民已经对司法系统不信任。不过，作为一个总统，非裔的奥巴马更呼吁要停止进行违法的。暴力行为，美国就在马丁路德金恩博士发动的黑人民权运动革命五十年之后，依然还有很长的一段路要走。超过千人抗议的队伍前进到了美国首府华盛顿。欧洲裔的警察一度被指控疑似执法过当，开枪杀死了手无寸铁的非洲裔的青年，最后却被法院以不起诉处分。显然，这样的判决跟非洲裔人口的期待差太大。That, that we be treated specially. We're asking we be treated the same. Young white men aren't killed by police in the same rate.、Uh, so if we be treated the same, be treated as Americans, then this wouldn't be a problem. 一场判决引燃强烈的愤怒，因为这已经不是第一次。许多媒体大量重复报道这些景象。非洲裔人口的悲伤跟愤怒被片面转化成暴力、负面的形象。因为愤怒跟不满所发动的示威，就像一刀切开的一刃两面，有可能带来帮助，也有可能带来伤害。美国总统奥巴马对这起引爆美国黑白紧张关系升温的案件发表了谈话。As many of you know, a verdict came down, uh, or a grand jury made a decision yesterday that upset a lot of people. And as I said last night, the frustrations that we've seen are not just about a particular incident. They have deep roots in many communities of color who have a sense that our laws are not always being enforced uniformly or fairly. That may not be true everywhere, and it's certainly not true for the vast majority. Of law enforcement officials, but that's an impression that folks have, and it's not just made up. It's rooted in realities that have existed in this country for a long time. Now, as I said last night, there are productive ways of responding and expressing those frustrations, and there are destructive ways of responding. Burning buildings, torching cars. Destroying property, putting people at risk—that's destructive, and there's no excuse for it. Those are criminal acts, and people should be prosecuted if they engage in criminal acts. 作为总统，话讲得很清楚，维护社会安定秩序成为总统主要的使命。但是，弗格森镇警察局前的抗议持续着。现在，美国自从挥别奴隶制度以来，已经产生了史上第一位非洲裔的总统。不过，美国社会对黑皮肤的人的歧视无所不在。The country has moved forward in many, many ways since the 1960s and 1963, when Dr. King gave that famous speech. But we still have a long way to go. 
when we have a justice system which African Americans and other people of color are pulled over just because of the color of their skin, we're still dealing with issues of racial profiling. But for the overwhelming majority of people who just feel frustrated and pained because they get a sense that maybe some communities aren't treated fairly or some individuals aren't seen as worthy as others, I, I understand that. And I want to work with you, and I want to move forward with you. Your president will be right there with you. 一起往前走，因为美国的确还有很长的路要走。记者 Glass 林博宏整理报道。